Have you ever wondered how Google appears to have all the answers? Well, at least nearly all the answers. Let's take a look at an example. So, I can navigate to the Google search engine and then type something like, which university did Emma Watson go to? And after clicking enter, boom, Google immediately tells me the answer is Brown University. So how does Google manage to efficiently store so much data such that it can answer any question that we ask it? Well, this is where knowledge graphs come in. Let's take a look at a visualization of what Google's knowledge graph might look like. Everything that we can think of a detail can be represented as a node in a graph. From now on, I will refer to each piece of detail with the word entity. So for example, Emma Watson will be an example of a node in the graph as Emma Watson is an entity. Similarly, Brown University is an example of another piece of detail, i.e. entity, and hence will also be a node in the knowledge graph. As there is a direct relationship between Emma Watson and Brown University, the knowledge graph will have an arc connecting the Emma Watson node with the Brown University node. It is easy to expand the knowledge graph such that all directly related nodes are connected to each other uh, with these green arcs. In this way, Google's knowledge graph will have billions of different nodes with billions of arcs connecting different nodes. We can think of the depiction of the knowledge graph here as a super zoomed in part of Google's knowledge graph. So the construct of a knowledge graph is very useful as it clearly outlines the relationships between different pieces of facts. Therefore, when we query Google with some question, it is easy to find the answer by just traversing the knowledge graph in the locality of the mentioned entity in the question. But we haven't discussed the tricky part yet. How has Google managed to build this knowledge graph in the first place? I mean, it's impossible that Google has employed thousands of people to spend all day to construct the knowledge graph because they wouldn't be close to finishing even if they used all the time since the Big Bang. The key idea is that Google has some automated approaches that can build a knowledge graph by just reading natural language articles such as Wikipedia. So by reading millions of documents on the web, Google can automatically extract all the facts mentioned and also the relationships between them to construct its knowledge graph. Let's take a look at an example sentence to see how automated approaches could be used to go about building a knowledge graph. Here is an example sentence that you might come across in an article on the web. It simply says, for her undergraduate degree, Emma Watson studied at Brown University. To give a brief English lesson, Emma Watson in this sentence is called the subject of the sentence, while Brown University is the object of the sentence. Generally speaking, the subject of a sentence does something to the object of the sentence. Usually, the verb connecting the subject and the object is called the predicate of the sentence, which we can interpret as the relationship between the subject and object. To be consistent with the language we have been using so far, the subject and object are the entities in this sentence. So the aim of identifying the subject, predicate and the object in a sentence is a very common NLP task called triplet extraction, where of course the triple refers to the subject predicate and object. There are excellent automatic triplet extractors available that when given a passage of text, they tell you all the triples present. The task of triplet extraction falls into the general area of information extraction. Do note that the predicate is not necessarily an extract from the sentence, but could be a selected relationship between a list of acceptable relationships from a certain context. Here we will focus on open information extraction, where the relationship is not constrained to belong to any such list and instead is typically just an extract of the input sentence. So, 
By using a triplet extractor, we can represent the triple in a sentence visually by representing each entity as a node and the relationship as an arc between the nodes. Now, if later in some article we come across the sentence, Brown University is one of many colleges in the Ivy League, the automatic triplet extractor can be applied on this sentence too. Here, Brown University is the subject, is is the predicate, and Ivy League is the object. Using this information, the knowledge graph can now begin to be constructed by including Ivy League as an additional node connected to Brown University. So the key idea is that Google is able to apply excellent triplet extractors over billions of sentences. Then all the triplets extracted can be connected together, which collectively form a network that we call a knowledge graph. Well, that's pretty much it, but there is one subtlety worth discussing. Let us consider we have two consecutive sentences in an article. For example, her, for her undergraduate degree, Emma Watson studied at Brown University. She acted in the Harry Potter films. If we for, perform triplet extraction on the second sentence, we might be told that she is the subject, acted is the predicate, and Harry Potter is the object. But now, we try and grow the knowledge graph. We can only connect the Harry Potter node to a node that is called she. This is not great because as humans, we know that actually she was referring to Emma Watson. Luckily, there is another common NLP task that exactly fits the bill for this purpose. The ability to identify the same entities in a pair of sentences is known as co-reference resolution. And once again, state-of-the-art systems for co-reference resolution nowadays are excellent at matching prepositions in a second sentence with an actual named entity in the previous sentence. Thus, the she node and the Emma Watson node can be merged in our knowledge graph using co-reference resolution. Well, that's pretty much the main details about how knowledge graphs can be built. To summarize, an automated system reads text from millions of documents and then by using triplet extraction and co-reference resolutions models on each sentence, a knowledge graph is constructed. If you're interested, do check out how triplet extractors and co-reference resolution systems based on neural networks are designed.